Hey guys, Kaiser here. Today I'm going to show you where to find and how to tame the Therizinosaurus, aka the Tickle Chicken, aka the Fear Turkey, aka Freddy Krueger. And this will all be on the island map. The Therizinosaur is crazy scary, especially for ARK newcomers. But did you know that they're probably the best gathering dino on the ARK? These guys are definitely worth the trouble of taming them. For this tame, make sure you bring plenty of biotoxin or narcotic. Their torpor goes down extremely fast. And while you can feed them berries, their kibble of choice is exceptional kibble. They take 20 at level 150. We're going to be building a trap. So at minimum, you'll need 6 stone foundations, 16 stone door frames, a stone dino gateway, a reinforced dino gate, and 8 wooden ramps. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I found this guy at 78.5 latitude by 59 longitude. I've seen these guys all the way along this river, but you can also find them over by the green obelisk as well. To start, I'm going to build my trap a safe distance across the river so that he doesn't attack me while I'm in the process of building it. As you can see, I've already built a trap here. I use this area a lot to tame various dinos. I actually caught my first T-Rex here. Now that we're a safe distance away, we can build our trap. Start by putting down your foundations two wide by three long, like so. Once the foundation is placed, stack your stone doorways too high, all the way around the foundation, but leave a gap two foundations wide to make room for your gate. After your door frames are put up, place your dino gateway and gate like so. From here, you just need to place your wooden ramps on both sides of the trap. You technically only need to place them on one side, but if you plan on using this trap again in the future, it might pay off to have ramps on both sides. Now that we're done building, we can lure him into our trap. Okay, here he comes. Be careful. They're deceptively fast, and they have pretty good reach, too. And there we go! Now we can trank him at our leisure. I'll cut here, and I'll come back later when he's down. He should be down soon. And... There he goes! Now we just need to put the kibble and the biotoxin in him. There we go. Be sure to keep a careful eye on his torpidity. As you can see here, it goes down at an extremely quick rate. But as long as you're careful, all that's left is to play the waiting game. And after a while, you have your very own Therizinosaur. I'm naming this one Freddy. For, uh, no reason in particular. If you decided to place a gate in your trap, you can have him follow you out, or you can ride him out. And then you can reuse your trap again in the future. Also, if you don't like the idea of having one of these monsters chasing you into a trap, you can pick one up with a Quetzal. Observe. Okay, I found this guy along the same river. I'm just going to pick him up and head back to my trap. Quetzals fly slow, so I'll cut here and come back later. It's a bit easier to do this with a larger trap, but you can ensure that he gets inside by placing him carefully, like so. Now you just need to trank him. Put some kibble and narcs in his butt. And play everyone's favorite waiting game. You just bagged yourself another Skeksis. I mean... Xenosaurus. Let's head back and wrap up. We did it! 
These guys are a pain in the wild, but they'll be your best friend after they've been tamed. Left click does a swipe attack and is great for getting wood. Gathering is boosted up to three times on my server, but even without it, you get an insane amount of wood per swipe. Right click does a tickle attack and is great for getting insane amounts of fiber. And pressing C does a bite that is great for harvesting berries. It also does torpor damage as well. But that's not all! They also have a harvest menu. Every time they gain a level, you get a point that you can put into their harvesting levels. Additional delicate harvesting increases the amount of fiber that you get. And additional power harvesting increases the amount of materials you get from your left click. These guys are pretty much the kings of harvesting in Ark. I like to have a mammoth follow me around as I harvest with the Therizinosaur, and then I transfer the harvested materials that I get from the Therizinosaur to the mammoth and use him as a pack mule. It works great. I cannot stress enough how amazing these dinos are. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to see my future videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified when I come out with future content. And don't forget to comment below what you'd like to see me take next. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. See ya!